One of the more creative effects from the creative extension pack is the gated delay. So let's check that one out. Uh, I'm going to go under packs, creative extensions, audio effects, and let's load the gated delay. Now the gated delay is a sequencer that open and closes a gate that being sent to a delay, similar to a send effect, but uh, you have a cool sequencer here with a bunch of uh, options that you can create some very interesting things, similar to kind of a, a glitch delay units uh, for guitar pedals and stuff like that. So first of all, here we have the two main lanes of when the gate is open. Uh, the first lane decides the actual gate, and the second lane decides which gate is going to be uh, the sound. The delay is going to be, <coughs> excuse me, reversed. So let's uh, uh, click the X on both of them to turn them off. Right here we have the dry wet. I'm going to bring it up to 100% wet so we can understand what's going on. And I'm going to enable one here in the middle. Um, and right here we have a clip that is playing a few just uh, chords. Let's listen to it first. I'm going to turn off the gated delay. Let's listen to the clip that we have. Okay, just a simple patch from the the most basic patch of Wavetable as you loaded up the default one, and just a very short arpeggiator to give us that kind of uh, strumming. Um, so I'm going to turn this on. Let's listen now. <coughs> nice. So we heard we had some delay there. Let's go here and turn up the feedback so we can hear it better. We can hear it a bit more. Let's also turn on the delay volume. Okay, nice. Now, uh, the gate is open up and we do have uh, some clicks there. So here we have the smooth, which we can introduce a fade in and a fade out to the opening and closing of the gates. So it can uh, give us a smoother uh, sending transition. Okay, nice. Now, right here is the steps, how many steps we actually want for the sequencing. So now it's asymmetrical, we have nine steps, so it's bringing it in into uh, odd times, which is very cool. Right, let's go back to 16. Here is the speed of the delay uh, of the sequencer, which is also the uh, speed, the rate of the delay. So if I go 16th notes, the sequencer moves faster, but also the delay rate is faster. Let's go slower and let's put it like right here. So we can hear we have those uh, um, shorter, longer delays, uh, and the sequencer is also slower. Right here in the delay, we can actually decide what's the actual delay time. So that equals right now one to, that equals an eighth note, but we can have it like half the time of eighth notes, so now it's going to be sixteenth notes. <laughs> Right, so we have the ability to change the rate of the actual sequencer, and then what's relative to that, what's the timing of the delay. We can even have it uh, double the time, so now the delay is going to be quarter notes. Excellent, and we can even go three, so that's more syncopated. Nice. Uh, we can introduce some randomness, uh, so that will randomize the timing of the delay. So let's speed up the sequencer. Let's see if we can create some cool kind of stuttering effects here. Let's uh, add a few more here. Let's try that with some random. Nice. So every time it triggers it, it also randomizes the time. Excellent. We got the feedback, of course. Here we can turn it into gate mode, so it's only actually playing when the uh, sequencer is gated. Is uh, uh, We have the steps. Nice, and we can even reverse a step if we want. I did find that uh, reversing works really nicely in shorter or in... Uh, slower delay times because then it have a larger buffer size to grab those reverses. Really awesome stuff. And we also have the duck here. 
which will duck um, the uh, wet signal if the dry is playing. So this thing is even, let's go back to like a 16th note. And let's uh, do something like this, maybe. And let's start to play something. Uh, just to show you, it's even really nice on just playing jam with yourself, creating some really cool uh, vibes. I got the same vibe from a guitar pedal, a pitch delay guitar pedal from Chase Bliss when I played the guitar with it. And you can do some really cool glitchy delayed stuff here. So let me just load the BeatLab keyboard. Um, so we can see what I'm playing. I'm just going to put it there, uh, open it up. Okay. Let's stop the clip from playing. And let's put it on insert mode. And let me turn off the arpeggiator. Here we go. Nice, I'm going to turn it off so we can hear what I'm playing. That's just the default one. And let me actually bring up the sustain. Okay, nice. Let's turn it down a tiny bit. Just a sine wave. Let's turn on the gate today. Very cool. Let's uh, try a shorter delay time, more feedback, more randomness. Maybe less smooth. Get more feedback here. No duck. Whoa. Amazing, follow it with some reverb. More delays even. Some more other creative effects, modulation. Amazing stuff. So that's the gated delay, a sequenced uh, delay that you can do a bunch of cool stuff with. Check it out. Really amazing stuff, gated delay. <laughs> 